phones are switched off, you are here, here to observe the meeting only. Please ensure that your phones are switched to silent for the duration of the meeting. And also, would all members and officers virtually viewing this meeting, please ensure that their microphones are switched to off unless you are speaking. In addition, when asked to raise your hand, if members who are virtually attending the meeting, could you raise your electronic hand? And for members physically present, just raise your hand here in the room. Agenda item three, declarations of interest. Are there any declarations of interest? Please would members say what the items are and what the interest is, please. In the room, Scott, do you want to declare interest? Thank you, Scott. Um, can I also remind members if you're members of Celtic Leisure? It's not a prejudicial interest, but I, I would ask you to declare an interest if you've got a membership with Celtic Leisure this afternoon. Um, Councillor Simon Noy, please. Yes, I'm a member of Celtic Leisure. Councillor? No, I'm not, but Sorry. I might, uh, just check in um, interest in uh, 16B, which is the Castle Drive Calvert, which is in the ward. No need to worry about Calvert, that's a heavy. Thank you, Thank you Craig. Jane, you will uh, forward electronic versions of form for, for members to complete an email back to you. Yes, Chair. Thank you. Agenda item four, minutes of the previous meeting. We have no minutes to consider at this meeting today. These will follow at the future meeting. Thank you. Agenda item five, this is the forward work programme for 22-23. It's here for noting on pages five and eight of your agenda pack. Jane, anything would you like to add, please? No, Chair, that is just for noting and for members to be aware of the items that are coming up to at future dates of meetings. Thank you. Agenda item six this afternoon is public question times. Jane, we haven't received any notification from the public to speak today, have we? No, Chair, no. Thank you. Agenda item seven. Scott, can I just say, uh, members, if you're all in agreement, uh, we'll take agenda item seven and agenda item ten consecutively so that Scott can just stay out for both and then come back for the remaining of the cabinet meeting this afternoon. Everybody agree to that? Yeah? Excellent. The report this afternoon is on pages 9 to 36 and is here for a decision. Do officers have any further comments to make on this report, please? I see no hands up. Members, do you have any questions? No? We note the integrated impact assessment and I refer members to the recommendations on pages 15. I propose at this agenda item. Could I have a second, please? I second. Thank you, Alan. Members, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your hand, I will assume that you're in favour of the recommendation. I can I see no indications to the contrary, uh, Chair, so that item has been approved. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Jane. I'll take you now to agenda item 10, the child care in schools and education buildings, temporary changes to the current rent arrangements. The report for this item is on pages 59 to 72, and it's with us for a decision. Do officers have any, anything further to add? I see none. Members, do you have any questions? No? I now refer members to the recommendations on pages 64 and also the integrated impact assessment. I propose this agenda item. Could I have a second, please? Fine. Please, sir. Thank you, Alan. Members, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your hand, I will assume that you are in favour of the recommendations. Jane, can you confirm? Yeah, there's no indications to the contrary, Chair, so that item has been approved. Thank you. 
Can somebody else got to come back in, please? Thank you, Scott. Um, we now on agenda item eight, which is the insourcing of the leisure services. The report is on pages 37 to 54, and you're for a decision. I'm going to bring the heads of legal service, Craig Griffiths, in at this point to give us some information. Thank you very much, Tavita. Just for one particular point, I think it's important for members to be aware of. We've obviously heard in the scrutiny committee that uh, recommendations have been amended we are consideration today. One of the points you just need to bear in mind is that the actual decision to approve the business plan and the actual details associated with it is an executive decision. So it is a decision of the cabinet to be made. It's not something ultimately the full council have any powers to determine. Whilst they can consider matters and give support or any views associated with it, the final decision on the actual approval of the business plan will be one for the executive. So your cabinet members to determine in your own right. So I just thought it wise to clarify that particular point for you. Thank you, Craig. That's very important. Um, do officers, officers have anything further to add? Members, any questions? Now, we have an amendment. Do I read this amendment out, Jim, in, in its yes, entirety? Yes, yeah. We heard from scrutiny today with an amendment. I have it in front of me for, for Cabinet to decide upon. So I will read it out that the Director of Education, Leisure and Lifelong uh, Learning is in consultation with the leader and relevant cabinet member be granted delegated authority to make initial decisions required to present a full business case to Council in October 2022 to achieve the delivery of insourcing of leisure services by the first 1st of April 2023, producing such that such delegation shall not be utilised where there is a proposed change in the service delivery and or significant cost to the service delivery. Before I ask you to approve this, this amendment, can I ask Andrew on a point of October uh, as a delivery? Uh, if you're comfortable with that. I know it's in law, it, it, it's not appropriate, but I just want your views, Andrew, on the the October timescale for the business case, please. Yeah, thank you, Steve. I was just about to come in on that. Um, I think in my presentation, we mentioned October, November. It's probably more likely to be November, to be honest. Um, so, you know, uh, it, it depends how how much we're held to the October deadline. Um, if it says October, November, then the, I, I'm comfortable with it, Steve. OK. Therefore, members, I, I'm so, sorry, Craig. If I could just add another particular point, Chair, just to be sort of clarity purposes, obviously when you're considering this amendment, I would consider just a slight amendment so that it's the Cabinet obviously would be considering it and not Council as part of your recommendation. So just a point for clarification, but quite an important one to make sure that legally the appropriate decisions can be made. Okay, do I need to read it out again? Sorry, Chair, can I just confirm, yep. is it Cabinet or Cabinet Board, Craig? It could be Cabinet or Cabinet Board, could be safe either in those circumstances, dependent on what the decision is. Uh, no, I, I don't need to read it again. You've heard the, the extra amendments uh, and uh, what Andrew has said and our Head of Legal Services. Mm -hmm. Are Cabinet members comfortable with that as an amendment for us to pass this afternoon, Scott, please? It's, it's only an observation, really, and correct me if I'm wrong, you know, I'm disappointed to hear this afternoon, you know, from the Labour Party, of the proposal, uh, for let's make a bones of a bit prior to the election, they were very comfortable in senior officers of this authority, have been over, uh, over a bit, and now, uh, you know, this delegated powers wants to go on to the leader of the cabinet member. I've heard other members speaking today, in ensuring that officers, when they delegated powers, is in conjunction with the leader and the relevant cabinet member. Can, can we we'll deal with that issue and obviously we, we get to that point, but on this item, can I just ask, are you comfortable with the, the amendment as read out with the, the further amendments then that Andrew and Craig have suggested? Uh, Scott, happy? Yeah? 
All members happy with that? Can I now have, uh, I will propose this uh, amendment uh, as changed again by uh, Craig's view and Andrew. Can, can I have a second there, please? Second. All cabinet members happy? Yeah. yeah? Thank you very much. Um, agenda item nine is the additional capital programme allocations. Uh, the report is on pages 55 to 58 of your agenda pack. And again, this is your decision. Do officers have anything further to add? Nothing further to add from me, Chair. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hugh. Members, any questions? I refer members to the recommendations on pages 57 of your agenda pack. I would propose this agenda item. Can I have a seconder, please? A second. Thank you. Members, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your hand, I will assume that you are in favour of the recommendation. Jane, can you I again can see, confirm? Yeah, I can see no indications to the contrary, uh, Chair, so that item has been approved. Thank you. Agenda, I, we've done agenda item 10, yes. so we move to agenda item 11, and that's commissioning of the Families First Funding Service. This report is on pages 73 to 82, and it's again for decision. Do officers have anything further to add? Nothing further, thank you, Chair. Thank you. Members, any questions? No? I now refer members to the recommendations on pages 79 and 80 of your agenda pack. I will propose this agenda right down. Can I have a second, please? I second, please. Thank you, Alan. Uh, members, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your electronic hands or in the room, I assume that you are in favour favour of the recommendation. I can see no indications of the contrary, Chair, so that item has been approved. Thank you, Jane. Agenda item 12 is the Housing Renewal and Adaptation Service, HRAS, the Private Sector Housing Renewal Policy. This report is on pages 83 to 112 of your agenda packs, and again is here for a decision. Do officers have anything further to add? Nothing further to add, Chair. Members, any questions? Uh, yes, I'll end. Yeah, the only point I made was raised by a member in, in, in scrutiny about trying to obtain additional uh, resource, trying to direct additional resources to the proposal. And um, obviously, this this is a, um, a request that we are implementing um, at the request of, of Welsh Government. Um, therefore, I think it would be appropriate for us to ask Welsh Government for additional resources. Yes, thank you for that, Arlene. And uh, I also believe uh, our cabinet member for finance was uh, indicated just for clarity that uh, happy to yeah, contact to uh, Welsh Government Finance. Yeah. Or, uh, uh, what's the name of the cause? Govern, govern, yeah, so oh. Welsh Government Funding. Yeah, 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 no, the, the officer was a anyway, Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, thank you. Uh, I now refer members to the recommendation on pages 86 of the tax appendix. I would like to propose the agenda right now. Can I have a seconder, please? Please to second. Yeah. yeah. Members, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your hand, I will assume that you're in favour of the recommendation. I can see no indications of the contrary, Chair, so that item has been approved. Uh, thank you, Jane. Agenda item 13 is the school's term dates, 2024 ministers. I was talking about, by the way, I just couldn't remember the <laughs> minister. Uh, the school term date, 2024 to 2025. This report is on page 113 to 118 of your agenda pack and is year for decision. Do officers have anything further to add? No, Chair, no. it's, it's self-explanatory. I believe it's self-explanatory that we're asking them to um, approve the term dates to be submitted to Welsh Government um, for them to approve them for us. Thank you, Helen. Uh, you're quite right, it is self-explanatory. Members, any questions? I now refer members to the recommendations on page 115, as well as the attached appendix. I propose this agenda item. Could I have a second there, please? I'm pleased to second. Please. Thank you, Alan. Uh, members, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your hand, I will assume that you are in favour of the recommendations. I can see no indications to the contrary, Chair, so that item has been approved. Thank you, Jane. I move on to agenda item 14, which is the UK Shared Prosperity Fund. 
This report is on pages 119 to 194 of your agenda pack, and again is here for a decision. Do officers have anything further to add? Chair, yeah, just to um, confirm that um, we've taken on, we'll take on board the uh, request from scrutiny regarding the member seminar, and um, I recall that members did indicate. Um, about a minor amendment to the wording of the decision to include um, consultation with the leader and cabinet member. Thank you, Nicola. Do members have any questions? I now refer members to the recommendation on pages 128 and 129, as well as the attached integrated impact assessment and appendices. I propose this uh, item with some of the points Nicola raised on what came from scrutiny. Uh, I think it is important to have that seminar as and when appropriate. So thank you for that. Uh, could I have a second there for this agenda item, please? Just a second, though. Thank you, Alan. Members, if we do not indicate to the contrary by raising your hand, I will assume that you're in favour of the recommendation. I can see no indications to the contrary. Chair, so that item has been approved. Thank you. Agenda item 15 is uh, the future waste report requirements and collection fleet relocation. Re relocation. This report is on pages 195 to 224 of your agenda pack and it's for decision. Do officers have anything further to add? Nothing further to add, uh, Leader. Thank you. Members, any questions? No, I now refer members to the recommendations on pages 204 and 205, as well as the attached integrated impact assessment and various appendices. I would propose this agenda item. Can I have a second, please? Can I just oh, ask sorry, you that, that again was one to add to the to the um, recommendations that is in consultation with the leader and relevant cabinet member. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Craig, are we going to add that or just can it be worded? Um, I would add that obviously, yeah, take that as an amendment. To there we are. Amendment. So, okay, Jane, we'll add that and, and we're taking it as an amendment, not to what I have mentioned as the proposal. So, everybody happy with that amendment? Yeah? I can see no indications to the contrary, Chess, that item's been approved. Uh, thank you, Jane. Thank you for reminding me of, of that That's item. Okay. Uh, agenda item 16. Uh, urgent items. Sorry, we don't. Oh, sorry. Just take you back a moment. Um, yeah. You obviously approved the amendment of that one, but we didn't approve the substantive motion. So could I ask if you could just ask for the Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, motion. Craig. Like you keeping an eye on me. Uh, <laughs> can we also approve the substantive motion of, of that agenda item, please? Everybody have Can I have a slide proposed? Can I have a second, Alan? I'll be the second. Thank you. Everybody happy? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that, Craig. Keep an eye on me, see, I did say, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Agenda item 16, uh, uh, urgent items. We do have two urgent items uh, for consideration at today's meeting, and they were circulated separately from the agenda pack. First item is the third sector grant application and arrangements, and it's on pages 3 to 18 of the supplement papers, and it's here for decision. Do officers have anything further to add? Uh, nothing to add, thank you, Chair. Thank you, Hill. Members, any questions? No? I now refer members to the recommendations on pages 6 and 7 and Appendix 1 to the circulated report. I'll propose this urgent item. Can I have a second, please? A second. Thank you, Alan. Members, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your hand, I will assume that you are in favour of the recommendations. I can see no indications of the contrary, Chair, so that item has been approved. Next urgent item is the Battle Drive Culvert. It's reconstruction and it's on pages 3 to 18 of the supplement papers and it's here for decision. Do officers have anything further to add? Nothing further to add, Chair. Thank you, David. Members, any questions? I guess you know what you Oh, Simon, please. Thank you. Yeah, I was just going to say that um, I think it's worth noting and thanking Hassan and Dave, the swiftness uh, and how quick they've acted in bringing this paper to, uh, to us today. Uh, and we are happy to approve the shortfall and get this scheme in, in the way. I think it's important. Yeah. 
Yeah, thank you for that. I, I think it's a real good news story. And, uh, and, and uh, thank you for your work uh, and uh, the work of officers in the swiftness of delivering such a vital, important uh, 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 job for that community. Uh, Councillor Jeremy Early, please. Yeah, thanks again as well. And also, uh, this isn't pressure, is where are they likely to be on site this all? Sorry, just made an answer to some idea. The uh, we, we, we have to award the contract and hopefully we will do that tomorrow and then I'll have a meeting with the, the contractor on Monday and we'll start as soon as possible because we need lead time to order the culverts and we need a minimum of six weeks to start with the first uh, lot of culverts and then 12 weeks with the second part. So hopefully we'll have a speed on the ground within the next couple of weeks. Thank you for that question, Jeremy. Uh, I will propose this item. Can I have a second, please? No, please, second. Oh, thank you, Alan. Members, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your hand, I will assume that you're in favour of the recommendations. I can see no indications to the contrary, Chair. That item has been approved. Thank you. Agenda item 17 is exclusion of the public. So members at this point, we have to consider the information contained within the report on pages 225 to 230. Are members in agreement to move into private session? Yeah. I can see no indications to the contrary, Chair, so that, so. Do I need, I need to propose yes, and have a second? Sorry, yeah. So I would propose to move into private. Can I have a second, please? Second, leader. Yeah, thank you, Alan. And again, as you mentioned, Jane, I, I see no indication, so we will now move into private. The, the private report is on 